Hey friends, uh, Power Guy Rob Phoenix here. Just popping in to say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, I was reading this book today. It doesn't matter where it was, but like, uh, you know, one of the characters asked the other character, well, how do I know I'm meant to like do something great in the world? And the other person said, well, you, it's a calling. You'll just know you'll know you're meant to do it and then you do it. And so it just kind of made me think about powwow, like, um, you know, how do you know you're meant to become a powwower? Uh, and like, for me, it just felt like it was the right thing for me to do. It was the right thing for me to stop studying like witchery, witchcraft and such and spells and such with, and focus specifically on um, helping people and healing people. Um, and it's possible because I had a lot of things in my life that needed to be healed. Uh, how did I know it was right for me to do it? I can't say like at one point I had this sort of like, uh, inversion experience, I guess, where I woke up in the middle of the night and heard God speaking to me saying, get up and read your Bible. Um, and that's really where everything changed for me. Uh, so Paolo was definitely a good fit for me then because I had always had this interest in magic and such but also I was re re revisiting and re-embracing my upbringing as a Christian um some people say there are ways to tell if you're meant to be a healer like if you've always felt the 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 the, the uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me if uh if you've always felt like this, uh, within you to help people. If you've always felt like you wanted to help people, um, then possibly, uh, you know, a life as a power hour would be good for you. Um, some think there's like, you know, like there's lines in your hand that can tell, I mean, I can't, you know, I can't say for sure that there's like healing in the lines of my hand. I'm fascinated by palm reading, but you know, that's, uh, uh, it depends what you believe. Um, some people say if you have certain, you know, eye color and such that you're meant to be, I have uh, green eyes, um, which I do know that green eyes are pretty rare, but does that mean, mean I'm meant to be a healer? I don't know. Um, years and years and years ago, back in the late 1990s, I had... Um, severe sciatic nerve pain uh if you've ever had sciatic nerve pain you know what i was going through and so i went to someone who was a reiki master and i thought i'll try this i don't really know what this is but i'll try it and so as she started doing this reiki on me i had this weird like spiritual experience and i explained it to her and she said well then you're meant to be a healer and she immediately gave me a Reiki attunement. It was like my first attunement for Reiki. And it has such a, such a weird like effect on me. Like it made me feel like I was psychic for a while. And, you know, my hands were just like burning and itching. And like, I just felt all this energy and I just needed to like touch, you know, like touch someone not inappropriately obviously but and so even now as a powwower when i'm doing my powwow i feel my hands get very warm uh sometimes my the palm of my hands turns red it's very strange and i'm just doing powwow uh so that's now a part of me so i i just think it all kind of works out that i'm meant to do healing um and so if you feel that calling to like learn powwow and be a healer, uh, I say you run with it. I mean, if you're meant to be a healer, there, there can never be enough healing in the world. Like, I mean, think about like the cost of medical care and such. I mean, you know, even those of us who are very uh, fortunate to have very good health insurance, like I do, uh, you know, sometimes they deny payment for certain things and then we have to pay for that out of pocket. Um, and that's a huge burden that can like ruin a family. I mean, uh, medical care in the United States is ridiculously expensive. The cost of medications, the cost of prescription drugs, the cost of like treatments and such is outrageous uh, compared to most other like civilized countries. So 
um, we can never have too many healers in the world. So if you feel the call to healing, uh, you, you, you know, you should go for it. Um, and if you feel called to powwow, you know, don't, you don't have to look for signs like, you know, your eye color or lines in your hands or such. If you feel like you want to bring healing into the world, then you should do so. You're meant to. Um, because that's no small thing. Like, that's, I can't think of anything more noble than to feel like you want to bring healing to people. And like, if you would like to do that through the, uh, the through the tradition of powwow, then certainly, you know, reach out to me and I'll see if maybe I might be able to help you. Uh, if not, I can definitely uh, refer you to somebody else who would be able to help you better than me. Um, I uh, can't teach you anything about Reiki. I got Reiki attunement. It was 25 years ago. I don't even remember, but um, it's still there. I still feel it. I still feel that, but I don't like uh, intentionally do it. It's just when I'm doing powwow, it just kind of kicks in, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, uh, if you're meant to do healing, then do it. If you feel called to do something, then do it. If that's your spiritual uh, 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 um, task in this lifetime, then please do that. Um, but if you feel like uh, powwow is uh, the lens through which you're meant to do healing in the world, then please let me know and I'll see if I'm 